Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to deal with the Black Death. This is a very common issue on Mercedes in general and a lot of diesel engines. Um, in this case we're going to be replacing copper seals and we're going to have to remove and install the injectors. So if you want to see how this is done stick around and I'll show you how. I'm not going to waste too much of your time with all the details. I'm sure if you're going to attempt this job you're going to know how to remove the engine cover. So start by disconnecting the intake air hose, mass airflow meter disconnected to remove the air box. Now we're going to have to remove this plastic cover from top of the valve cover. There's five Allen bolts. Take these out. Some of them are quite deep and you can't really reach them very easily. But uh, just make sure that you don't leave any behind. So after you remove the cover and the insulation, you're going to see the injectors, high pressure pipes and the rail. Um, gently disconnect all plugs and start uh, cleaning with brake cleaner. After you clean with brake cleaner then you're gonna have to dissolve this mess somehow. What I do is I chip it off with a screwdriver, hoover it, extract it with a dust extractor and after this you're gonna have to soften it with paint thinners, acetone or carburetor cleaner. Now comes the trickiest part where you're going to have to remove the injectors and if you're lucky your injectors will come out pretty easy. In my case I had to use this special pneumatic tool which is connected to my air compressor. It's very deep underneath the bulkhead and this was the only way I literally had clearance about uh, 5 centimeters maximum between the highest position of the tool and the bulkhead. And uh, yeah, I had to use this in order to remove injectors number three. I had no issues with number four and two and then number one at the very front again was badly seized so I had to use the tool again on it. In my personal opinion the best way to clean injectors is to spray them with Mr. Muscle oven cleaner, leave them overnight and the next day rinse them, clean them with water first, hot water if you can and after that spray some WD-40 and brake cleaner to make sure you dry them well. Now regarding the black death or the carbon buildup here the best way I found for cleaning this was using thinners, also then plenty of rinsing with brake cleaner and make sure you plug the ports with some cloth so no liquid falls inside the engine because you don't want to dilute the oil. And finally you're looking at the cleaned ports. I did rim them with a reaming tool and now we're basically ready for installation. I will apply some grease on the injectors and torque them to spec. Now what you're gonna need here is you need your copper washers. I have a little uh, container here with the copper washers you can see the new ones versus the old ones and you can buy these pretty cheap from Mercedes um, you probably get them on eBay for around eight pounds for the four we're gonna need some high temperature ceramic grease I like using this one it's made by Febi and the part number is 26712 I normally put these in the description they are not referral links I'm not making money on these so I just want to show you the correct product to use in order to apply on the injector so the injector doesn't seize um, as it's recommended to replace these copper washers every 60,000 miles in order to keep them in good order and to prevent black death now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply this is probably way too much so I'm gonna probably use this on two or three injectors and I'll show you exactly what we need to do so make sure you don't cover the tip so just apply a little bit on the injector as I said don't go crazy and you don't need to put too much grease and yeah that's probably a little bit on the generous side so I'm just gonna wipe a little bit off it and then put it on the other so you've seen the process repeat the process don't forget to install your uh, copper washer and then we'll continue with the torque procedure and uh, install these in place so this is what the injector should look like after you've applied grease I've previously numbered my injectors so I know which one goes where 
I wanted to show you I've placed the copper washers inside. Be hard to focus, but you're getting obviously the idea. So I've placed them everywhere in all four ports. And you can see the ports are squeaky clean. And now we're going to insert the injectors and then put the metal clumps and the bolts. Now, very important to mention that the bolts have to be brand new. I've got a box of 10 bolts here and the part number is 28407. These are Febby bolts and I'm just going to show you they're exactly the same as the original. Febby are probably making them for Mercedes to be honest with you. So far I've seen quite a few parts with ground off part numbers. So they probably make them for Mercedes and yeah, exactly the same bolt as the original with the thread locker on it. Struggling to focus here. So we're gonna need four bolts obviously for the four cylinder engine. I'm gonna, as I said, I'm gonna install the injectors in place and let's get cracking. I'm gonna start with number four. Okay, I've tightened up the bolt, number four, finger tight, and there's quite a lot of conflicting information about the torque specs on these injectors. This is OM646, my version is 980, so it's 646.980, 110 kilowatt, 150 horsepower, but the correct spec as per the Mercedes manual, which I'm going to put on the screen to show you, is 7 newton meters, second stage is... is um, 90 degrees and then third stage is another 90 degrees. I'm going to continue with the other injectors. This is number three here. I don't like tightening the bolts until I have everything in place. All the injectors, all the fuel pipes, just in case you need to make some adjustments and move things about. Let's go install the high pressure pipes. Remove the covers. I've set the torque wrench at 7 newton meters, so let's go ahead and start with number 4. That's 7. So you're literally just lightly pre tightening these bolts, and then the actual torque comes from the 2 times 90 degrees. Okay, that's 7 newton meters. Now we're gonna get the angle tool and do 90 degrees two times. This is the angle tool that I like to use. It's uh, combined obviously with a, use it with a half inch ratchet and then I've put a T40 here. This is a T40 for the bolts and it's a uh, adapter. I've got an adapter a half inch to 3 8 So you've got a little clip here that clumps somewhere just to keep it steady. So the bolt is secured. I'm 
going to clump it here and then zero it to zero and then go to up here 90 degrees. That's 90. So you want to do each 90 degrees at basically with one motion. You don't want to stop and start. Now let's go to the next one. That's 90. Now we're going to repeat the same process for the third uh, stage of another 90 degrees and that should be the injectors tightened up. And that's job done. Now we're going to have to tighten the nuts on the high pressure pipes The correct torque spec for these nuts is 23 Newton meters. I'm going to use the same tool that I used in order to remove the nuts. 